Hello everybody, Jesse here from Jason's Fed. Guys, you're very much welcome back to my channel where we discuss all things software engineering. And before I get on, I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. Okay, so this is the first time I'm uploading anything on YouTube this year. So a prosperous new year to you, okay? So guys, you're very much welcome. Now, this video happens to be really special because it's the first of um, a playlist which I've captioned Airbnb console because we're going to be touching the basic concepts you will need to clone the Airbnb website according to the ALX Software Engineering School curriculum. Speaking of ALX, just in case you're African and you want to learn what it takes to be a software engineer for free, yeah, the keyword is for free, um, feel free to check out the ALX Software Engineering School, which is actually a 12 month intensive software engineering program. Um, designed to take you from foundations to specialization so depending on what you want either back end or front end and it's designed by software engineers from silicon valley so they are really industry experts and the curriculum is really really thorough and i'm sure you'll be so blessed immensely by it so feel free to check it out i've linked it in the description below so if you did check it out feel free to leave a comment for me um, on what you think about it so without further ado let's just get started so guys today i want to talk to you about the uuid so uuid stands for unique universal identifier and it is actually a 128 bit identifier that is unique across both space and time so this implies that if you implement this UUID, um, you will be able to generate hexadecimal digits that are unique across space. That implies that wheresoever you implement it, it's going to be different. And it's also going to be unique across time, implying that whensoever you implement it, it's going to be different. So why do we need to learn about UUID with respect to this project? Well, because at some point, we are going to be creating a database to store our data and this database will consist of rows and columns so we will need a way to be able to uniquely identify each row in this database so it's like for example um in nigeria we have the nin okay so the national identity number so um every person in nigeria for example should have an nin so uniquely identify you so i think in ghana and the us is ssn your social security number so the uuid serves as some sort of nin or ssn for the data you have in your database to uniquely identify so it does that by generating random hexadecimal digits for you so it provides a very consistent way of making sure you don't have conflicts in your database so to do this, I'm going to be using the Python UUID module. So I'm just going to be typing from UUID imports UUID. As you can see right here, we have four versions of the UUID from this module. We have version 1, UUID version 3, 4, and 5. And most notably, we do not have a UUID version 2 in the UUID module in Python. Another thing to note is that for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using the version 4 of the UUID simply because it's generally considered to be more secure. And this is so because unlike other versions of the UUID, UUID 4 is generated based on an algorithm that uses random numbers to create a UUID. So the random numbers make it such that um, it's less likely that you would have two values or two UIDs generated being alike. And that makes it so much more secure. So right now, let me go ahead and import UUID 4 just like that and let me print out the value all right so go ahead and run my scripts so you can see right here i have a random hexadecimal value let me go ahead and run it again i have another random hexadecimal value let's run it the third time you see i have another random hexadecimal value so if you remember the definition of the uuid that it has to be unique um, across time and space so you can see that right now for every time i actually executed my script and i call this function it actually generated different unique values so fam that is for the uuid um, i know this is really basic but trust me this actually will provide the foundation we will need to understand um, the subsequent concepts we'll be learning so if you're new here you may also want to consider subscribing so you can be up to date with the videos which i'll be uploading and that is from me for now i'll see you in the next one